solve the ODE explicitly. That means we need to write down the final answer as y equals some function of x. So here, this is not a separable because this negative y, if we move to the right side plus y, and we cannot separate y from there. So this is in the form of linear form. I mean, we have dependent and variable y, dy over dx, and some function of independent variable, some function of x, some function of x equals some function of x. So we are exactly in that form. That means linear. And we write down in the standard form, we divide by this function and then find integrating factor and so on. So let's divide by x. Then we get dy over dx in the first term because we are dividing by x minus uh, y over x. But let me write down as a function of x and y here. Okay, negative one divided by x equals, we are dividing by x, so the times means just divide by ones, not for both, okay? I mean, these two factors create one term. So x sine x. Now this is in linear standard form, and as we know, this one is our px. And based on that px, we find integrating factor. So integrating factor is Let's call mu x e raised to integral of that px which is negative 1 over x dx that is negative outside 1 over x and di derivative of 1 over x is natural log of absolute x but x is given positive so absolute value not needed okay uh, we cannot simply cancel here yet so negative means negative 1 move up so e raised to ln x raised to negative 1. Now we can cancel e and natural log. The directions cancel x raised to negative 1, which is in fact 1 over x. So we have the integrating factor. Now we multiply this ODE, okay, this modified ODE by the integrating factor. And we know that when we multiply through by this one, the left hand side automatically becomes derivative of a product product of y dependent variable and integrating factor 1 over x in the right side the right side though okay multiply this by 1 over x so x x cancel simply sin x survives there now we integrate both sides and isolate y done so integrate both sides with respect to x so y times 1 over x is integrate, right? Integrate both sides with respect to x. And then here, uh, antiderivative of sine is negative cosine x plus some constant of integration. To isolate y, uh, divide by 1 over x, which is same as multiply through by x. Then we have y equals negative x cosine x plus c times x. We cannot write another constant. c times x is just a variable. And that's the final answer.